What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel as I walk out to our next candidate, a Jeep. Ugh, I don't like working on Jeeps, and I don't really care for any Chrysler product there is, but this is gonna be kind of one of those videos where we're gonna be talking about getting stiffed at auto repair facilities. This customer reached out and wanted us to check over their Jeep Liberty because they just went to an independent shop that said they were gonna need $7,000 worth of repairs to get this thing back on the road. Here's our candidate. Follow along and let's see really what's going on with this Jeep. All right, everybody, thanks for coming back and checking us out. Not really a big fan, oh, not a Liberty. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Freaking Patriots. We're gonna go over a bunch of stuff that they said this vehicle needs. Tie rods, bushings, struts, a whole laundry list altitude. Whole laundry list of stuff that this vehicle may not need. How many times have we been in this situation where you go either to the dealership to get an oil change or an independent shop to get an oil change and you come back with an estimate that is greater than what you had anticipated? And the first thing when I do and get in people's vehicles, first off, the cleanliness, and the second, the smell. I appreciate the smell. Sometimes you get in these things and they are freaking pungent. Oh my God. All right, starting it up. Do not have any abnormal lights on except for the seatbelt light, which I am not going to wear. Uh, how do you operate this? Turn this on, AC on. I want it just on the face. I smells. There we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, let's get this thing pulled in and lifted on the hoist so we can all inspect. As we go to pull this in, I'm gonna kind of check out, see if we got any weird noise, any break, any weird steering oscillations. No, I don't hear any binding. Sometimes the struts, strut mounts, everything will get old and bind up front. All right. Well, although I don't like Jeeps, I mean, so far I don't have any real, oh my God, this thing is about to fall apart. Um, obviously they brought it to us for, for a, an inspection. We're gonna do just that. But um, I guess meanwhile, uh, while we sit and ponder, drop down into the comments and tell me if you guys have been a victim yourself of going to repair facilities and getting taken advantage of, um, especially if uh, you've known several people that have had that same issue. So, so let's go around, inspect everything we got. Brakes look fairly new, look dusty. Oh my gosh, ASF. Check out the rears. Do we have new rear brakes too? Ooh, okay, new rear brakes. So did they go in to get a brake job and they said it needed all of this? Very well, it could be. I mean, those are, those are spanking, spanking brand new. All right, well, let's lift this thing up. Gonna have to back her up. Yep, right there. Yep. Let's get this. Oh, we need to pull this one out. Yep. Pull this puppy out. Yeah. This puppy should be, ooh, not good enough. All right, go back. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's get it from rolling. Oh yeah, oh yeah. 
Oh yeah. One more. Give it a uh, give it a jounce. Okay. Big shout out to Rain Man Raise Repairs and the wife unit. Don't forget, change your freaking oil. PTT. All right, so we are floating. I guess let's go go all the way up. Uh, get I guess get it waist waist height, and we'll start checking uh, the tie rod ends. We're gonna start checking the ball joints, the control arms, and just do an inspection. So, almost. All right, I can dig that. Let's go down on the locks. Okay, we're on the lockies. All right, I think before we go any further, I'm gonna need to get some sustenance in my tummy because uh, it is lunchtime and this Jeep can wait. Back from sustenance. Now let's start checking out the front end, making sure we have no broken springs. Okay, it looks rusty. It looks like somebody's put new brake lines on. I don't, I don't know if the struts are original, but they definitely will could be. Yep, it's Michigan. It's Michigan. It's it, 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 it's Michigan. Another brake line. Definitely new pads, and rotors. Hopefully somebody bled the brakes well. All right. Look over here at the rear. We have spring. Spring. A little sway bar end link. Yeah. It's kind of dry rotted, but it's not busted apart. Would it be making noise? Yeah. That looks, that looks kind of rusted. To be expected. To be expected. And the side. Huh? Kind of the same thing. All right, I guess let me, let me get some gloves on and let's start moving stuff. Car is lifted up. Or I should say the Patriot is. All right, no more bending down. Let's check out everything. Definitely looks rusted. Okay, that rubber, that rubber looks good. Shock, shock, spring, strutty. Okay, we might have a leaking shock strut on the left rear. Okay, I could see that. All right, bushing, bushings. What else did they say? Oh, I guess you guys don't know about the list. Let me read you guys the list so you know what I'm up against so the customer said that this other shop said they need both lower control arms okay um, both lower control arms rear bushings separated from casing okay I mean, I don't work on Jeeps, but it doesn't look like that bushing separated from the casing. Uh, let's check this one. That looks fine to me. I mean, it looks like it's a 2014 vehicle. All right, I mean, I'm sure once I put weight back down on here that connection will straighten out uh, remember you know all this stuff is has sagged down because it's off the ground so okay so rear rear control arm bushing separated I am gonna have to disagree passenger inner tire rod Too much. Okay. 
okay, I guess I could agree with that. I do feel, I do feel a little, a little clicking, but nothing, nothing too abnormal. How about this one? If they're saying the right one's bad, what about the left one? Let's see, I got my hand on the, nope. Okay, I don't feel nothing there. All right, so I will give them uh, one out of one so far. Uh, I will agree the passenger inner tie rod um, has some minor play. Is it about to fall off? No. Does it have play? Yes. Is it minor? Yes. They also are saying that they need to replace both outer tie rods because if they're going to do the inner tie rod, these ones are going to have to be replaced because of the alignment. I mean, I could understand that with the Super Duty. Sometimes we have to replace the adjusting sleeve or the actual toe bar. You know, the toe bar. I mean, this doesn't really look all that bad. This is normal. You don't want this to... This is normal. Play like this is not. You don't want the ball and socket to come out. This, this is normal. So, um, yeah. Uh, passenger CV joint has play. Right. Um, I don't know if I would say that's abnormal. No? Yeah, I will agree. This one does have some play. You compare it to the driver's side. No, this one's not moving that much. Let me go back over here. Yeah, that is. I do feel that moving. Okay, so they're two for two. Two for two. All right, front struts are making noise. Now, these do look. Rusted. They do look 100% factory. They look original. Um, just for the sake of the mileage and the age of the vehicle, if this was mine and I was getting some suspension stuff done, I would want to get some some new struts on here. And if you're going to do the front, you might as well do the back. Because if you have a leaking rear one, you might as well start and do the passenger one too. I know it's not leaking, but you don't want, you don't want to get a vehicle that's got one brand new crisp one on one side and a dirty crapped out weak one on the other side. So um, if you're gonna be doing this one, 125,000 miles on a 14, I probably would do four struts or strut shock combo. Shaft and a tie rod. That didn't look as bad as I thought it was going to be. Now they're saying both upper and lower control arm bushings are torn. We've got a control arm up here. You can see it's attached. See it's attached. Here, that's a sway bar. I don't really see it tore. How about uh, I see a kind of a perforation, but I don't see a little goofiness right there. Maybe a little dry rot, but it's not. It's not freaking torn. All right, let me look at the other one. There's the left side, looks pretty much the same. All right, well, that's the rear. How about, how about the upper and lower control arms front? All right, so we have a bushing or a pivot point right here. Looks like it's enclosed in, in the actual subframe. Like a, uh, like a swivel almost. Oh, I can see a good one right here. That's a good shot of it. 
That's a good shot of it. Well, no. I don't know, man. They look all right. I guess it's time to do a little tie Let's see how much. I would assume, no, because that would be straight. So when the vehicle's going to be dropped down, this control arm is going to go up and straighten out. So that's kind of, I guess that could be some place where you could spray some penetrant on that. Maybe just so it's not noisy. But, I mean, people can live with noise. Looks like I'd be worried about this Oil pan. Got some silicone out here. It's got it all leaking up in there. Look in there. Look up in the hole. See the oil leak? See that oil leak? I mean, that could be addressed. Oil pan looks pretty rusted from up front. Anyway, so I mean. For the mileage, 125,000. Do you replace this stuff just because it's kind of dry rotted, or are you going to be replacing some stuff when it's actually loose? Um, not complaining of any clunking. Um, be a couple things that I would address, maybe with the, the shocks and just for the fact that this is leaking. So if you're going to do one of these rear shock spring assemblies, you might as well do the front ones because it's going to be silly to be like this on a vehicle is you know all wore out and you got one one uh you're gonna have a crap crap ride so i guess my next step is i'm gonna call the customer and let them know what we found um i mean i do agree with some of the stuff they had but i don't i don't agree with everything i think that they may have came at this because if we are in there, let's replace this stuff anyway. But I mean, when you're looking at a $4,000, $5,000 repair bill for just some stuff that's loose um, or the rubbers wore out, I should say. Um, definitely loose uh, inner tie rod. Uh, the CV. Uh, not really familiar with the whole the whole G Patriots thing, but suspension, suspension joints are joints and shocks and struts and springs are pretty much all the same so if you have one of these poor vehicles let me know in the comments please try to refrain from bringing them to me i'll much rather take your six sevens or any of your four vehicles and if you're in the southeastern michigan region drop me a line email is in the description i'd love to get a hold of your truck and a ptt accessorize it get some maintenance done or maybe actually have a problem that needs to be taken care of. Make sure to like, comment, sub, share, and I'll catch all of you guys next time. Hopefully not on a Jeep Patriot.